First thing I want to ask is, did you know much about Ant-Man before you took on the role? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> um, but I kind of did, you know, some some work once I got it and really learned about Hank Pym's place in the Marvel Universe and uh, the origins of Scott Lang and, and all of that. What attracted you to the role? Well, I mean, many things. Uh, this genre is something I'd never done before. It was a, a it was exciting to think, oh, I'm a, a superhero. So different than anything I'd ever done. And uh, I also liked this one in particular. I liked his abilities, which seemed kind of strange and quirky, and and uh, and I liked the story a lot. When I got hired, it was Edgar Wright that you know offered me the part, and uh, I was certainly excited about working with him, uh, and I was excited about working with Marvel and this uh, kind of this company that makes these really fun. Uh, layered, escapist, and exciting uh, Marvel movies. So there were a lot of things about it that I liked. People who've seen the film so far are saying it's one of the funniest uh, Marvel movies, maybe the funniest one yet. Was it pitched to you as a particularly comic, uh, like funny Marvel movie? No. Um, I mean, I think that there's something in the DNA of the thing that's, you know, it lends itself to some levity because. Uh, you know, you hear Ant-Man and you think, all right, there's got to be at least some laughs in there. He's riding around on an ant. But um, the thing that I liked about it is that while there, it was, there was humor to it, um, that there was so much more to it than just that. And it isn't jokes and it's not that we're treating this stuff lightly. It, we, it does fit in to the universe and the tone of Marvel films, but still occupies its own kind of space. Uh, and you know, I, I, I have always dealt with anything, like with humor, and so I think that is my default anyway. It's quite a big emotional aspect to the film as well with Scott's relationship with his, uh, his daughter. Mm -hmm. Was it hard getting the balance right between the lighter moments, the action, the emotional aspect? Was it hard to find the tone? Because obviously no. with the films, uh, one of the screenwriters. No, well. it wasn't really. I mean, some of that stuff is going to be determined in post-production. But, you know, even apart from all of the dazzle and the effects and the action, I mean, you, any part you play, you're, I mean, uh, you play is like an emotional kind of, uh, uh, the serious narrative and drama and conflicts that the character is going through, and you want to just kind of focus on that. Uh, I don't treat things because it's a comedy like, okay, this is going to be lighthearted or no, this is a dramatic moment, so I'm going to be all serious. I think everything complements each other and works in tandem with everything like it does in life. So uh, it was never, I never really delineated between anything like that. And also with the, with the relationship to Cassie, that's the motivation for the entire film. That's what it is. And uh, so it wasn't, it, I didn't treat it in any kind of different way. I just focused and was aware of its importance.